Hey guys, this is Heffy. Today we are going to be swatching some Port Riot high speed toners. So let's take a close look at the packaging first. Um, I love this packaging, it's super cool. It's basically like tattooed dudes in suits with animal heads, it's so much fun. Um, so yeah, so we've got the rose toner, a violet, a natural, and here we have a icy and a silver. So I have these uh, blonde swatches and this is what we're going to test each of these colours on. So let's go mix them up. So it's recommended that we use 10 or 6 Voldemort apart with these colours. We can do the mixing ratio 1 to 2 or if we want a less highly pigmented result we can go 1 to 3 or 1 to 4. So I'm starting with the rose toner um, and oh my god this smells so 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 good. So next I'm applying each one of my shades to my swatches. So my swatches are all currently developing and already like it's been on minutes and they're looking amazing. So I'm gonna start rinsing them off in the order that I applied. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to see what these look like when they're dry. So my swatches are all finished and whoa. Um, I literally cannot get over how amazing these look. So now all the colors are dry, um, let's have a little look and see how they compare to the original. So firstly, we've got the rose. Um, you can straight away see the difference between the original. It's so, so, so pretty. It is the perfect like pastel rose pink. So if we've got a client that maybe wants to go vibrant um, or have something that's a slight change but doesn't want to go too full on, this is the perfect option. So next I did the silver. So uh, you can totally see from this swatch, by the way, is one of the most, um, one of the best sellers in this range. Like, look at that, that is crazy. So one thing that I love is that it's a very kind of neutral silver. Uh, I've used other toners trying to get a similar result and it's ended up looking a bit khaki or going almost like bluey, sometimes purpley or uh, the, the worst case scenario is when you get a bit of a green tinge. But yeah, we've definitely not got anything like that through that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So there is the silver. So now let's take a look at the violet. So you can see the violet compared to the original swatch. It's really, really subtle, again, similar to the pink. Super dusty, you know, not too intense, not too much. The perfect kind of starting point for maybe a blonde that wants to go for something that's a little bit subtle or even to add into a balayage. So next we've got the natural. Now, I absolutely love this colour. It's a proper, really nice beige blonde. So this is perfect for someone that is really light that maybe wants to sort of soften out a little bit. Um, perfect in highlights as well, but you can see it's just a really, really nice, soft beige. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And finally, we have another bestseller in the Port Riot toners. It is Icy. So yeah, this is the most beautiful like white toner I've ever seen. It's so perfect. It's really, really clean. Again, like with the silver, we don't have too much of an overtone. So I will show you um, the original and then you can see the Icy next to that. So it's just took away all that warmth um, and just given us a beautiful white color. So that's, that's all from me today, guys. It's been so much fun to swatch these colors. It's been really fun to actually just put them on some blonde hair and see what results we get. It's been super, super, super quick. Like I can't believe that these toners literally just take five minutes to get this sort of result. Um, I think they're perfect for the salon because obviously it's so much quicker than, you know, I've been in situations before I've had to fully like dry someone's hair off and then apply the toner at the section, and then the toners took 20 minutes to 40 minutes to sometimes an hour to develop. So it's really crazy how much time this is gonna buy us. And I think it's really interesting that the mixing ratio can be changed, because if we're mixing a product one to four with developer, that product is gonna last a long time. We are gonna, it's gonna stretch really far. We can use that same tube on multiple people's hair. So I think it's really cost effective as well. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more hair stuff. Thank you, bye-bye.